up the wall? No, not according to this blueprint. Which happens to be years and years out of date. Oh, look, if anything gets weird, we'll, we'll stop. My whole point is, why start? Maybe there are things on the other side of those bricks that need to be left alone. Um, have you been watching those horror movies with Lucas again? You don't rig up a whole room for no reason. Don't you want to find out what is in there? No. Okay, maybe I do just see. Uh, yeah, uh huh. I knew it. I knew but it. I should call a building inspector. Oh, Why? No, 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 no. You own the building. Because there has to be a regulation against ripping down a wall. Bobby, it could take months to find that out. Yeah, look, we promise if anything goes wrong, we will um, hire someone to put the bricks and the wall Absolutely. back up there. Okay, go ahead. But if anything starts to shake or shift, stop what you're doing and get out of there. Okay? okay. Thank you, thank you so much. We promise we will. Okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, excuse me. Um, you want to do it? You want to do the honors or shall I? Huh? Okay. All right. Whoa. Whoa. I'm impressed. Well, yeah, you see, you lawyers are good for some things after all, all right. right? All right. Oh, you want to go first? I always want to go first. Get out of my way. Okay. Yeah, cool. Watch your step. All right. Oh, my God. I'm impressed. Yeah, you see? You lawyers are good for some things after all, mm. huh? Right? All right. Well, oh, you want to go first? Yeah, I always want to go first. Get out of my way. Okay. Hey, cool. Watch your step. All right. Oh, my God. Wow. I am glad you are seeing this, otherwise I would think... I am losing no, no, my no, mind. No, no, I, no. I, you're right. I see it. It's all there. <laughs> How can this be? New Year's Eve, 1926. That's what you're looking at. Twelve oh one AM. That's when it all stopped. You know about this place? <laughs> Everything there is to know. That New Year's Eve was opening night and closing night. But for the few hours in between, it was truly glorious. Set of ganja packing. Oh my. <laughs> Don't you look divine? What do you think of your club? I'm overwhelmed, <laughs> giddy, <laughs> delirious with joy. Does that mean you're happy? Well, almost as happy as the day I married you. Boy, I was smart. <laughs> Everyone told me you stay away from that Marco because he's trouble with capital M. <laughs> Lucky for me. You never listen. Uh, because I knew your heart. No one's is bigger, more generous, more loving. You've given me everything, Marco. And just when I thought it wasn't possible for a woman to want anything more, you give me this. Don't examine my motives too closely. I'm a selfish man. I'll do just about anything to put that smile back on your face. <laughs> 
Oh, well, you won't be sorry. Because tonight is going to be big. Baffa, once in a lifetime big. <laughs> and it's just the beginning. May I have a brand new club's very first date? Yes, you may. We were young, in love, and so unaware. Nice to meet you. Finally, we prepared a miserable pump. It's been enough. He's controlled the waterfront way too long. Strutting around like he owns the world. Enjoy your New Year's Eve, big man. Then kiss that pretty wife. Bye-bye. We'll have to make a point of expressing our condolences to the widow. Bang, bang, bang! You all day! Beat it, kid! And stop sneaking up on people like that, or you'll be the one who ends up dead! You all set? You bet, boss. We're raring to go. That's what I want to hear. Now, you boys make sure you hit who you're aiming for. Marco dies tonight. Whoa! Where are you going in such a hurry? I have to see my dad right away. Do you have an appointment? No. Well, because your dad's a very important man. He doesn't see anyone without an appointment. He'll see me. I'm his kid. All right, I'm going to let you go. But you have to slow down. You don't want to take a header down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to guess? Mm-hmm. Clara Bow. <laughs> no. Mary Pickford. No, and it's not Greta Garbo either. Mm. Wait, I think I recognize the voice. It's Violet. Beautiful like always. And you look like you want to rip that suit right off your back. Yeah. Let's tilt them straight in time. Yeah, I wonder if that was a good idea to wear a noose around your neck. Oh, some woman who noticed how good her man looked. Like you. You look dreamy. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let's leave. Right now. What? Let's forget about the club opening. Let's forget about everything and everybody. We'll just hop in the car and, and we'll drive until we get to the Justice of the Peace in Niagara Falls. Uh, you you want to elope now? This minute. We can't. Give me one good reason I'll why not. I'll give you three good reasons why. Marco's your brother, he's my boss, and opening this club is very important to Catherine. We have to be here. Well, maybe Marco will be so involved he won't even notice we're missing. He'll notice. It's not a smart idea to start our married life on his bad side. Okay. But as soon as the clock strikes midnight. Niagara Falls, here we come. <laughs> hasn't washed. I will, but first I have to give Daddy something. Good job, little man. <laughs> what? You said you'd pay me. What if I don't have the cash? Interest compounds daily. <sighs> That's my boy. Thanks, Dad. Interest compounds daily. What? He's his father's son. So, what's in the box? I'm about to show you. <laughs> it's an important night for you. Maybe I shouldn't have. Standing here is a mixed blessing. Everything is so crystal clear. The joy. The exhilaration, 
The love. The very fun of it. But there's a flip side. The pain is still here. What exactly happened that night? The very thing none of us anticipated. There was such excitement in the air. I remember thinking it probably felt like, like the theater on opening night. Look at this place, can you believe it? A long way from where we started. I never thought I'd own a classy joint like this one day. You married a classy lady? That I did. You've been some class act yourself there, Joe. You've stuck by me to hell and back. Well, Marco, if it wasn't for you, I never would have gotten out of that orphanage. I owe you. You give me a job, a life. My loyalty is a fact. Hand me your gun. Why? You don't need to work to know we got other people on duty. Enjoy yourself. No, I, I don't like being unarmed. I don't think you understand. This is an order. <laughs> It'll be fine. Hand over the gun. Need something else? Yeah, yeah, put this in the safe. Joe's not working tonight. He's not gonna need it. Yeah, then we're off to an excellent start. College boy. Things will go legit one day. That's what too much schooling will get you. Stupid. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. I'm dead serious. Oh, you and Joe are gonna have me do it. You're gonna tie the knot tonight. <laughs> we're taking off tonight. The second after the clock strikes midnight. Oh, this is fabulous news. This night just keeps getting better and better. Now, I told Rummy Joe he was a goner the minute he laid eyes on you. No, oh, Violet. I am so happy for you both. <laughs> I know. I only hope Marco feels the same way. You kids go get Hedge. Leave your brother to me.